How's it going everybody? So I just want to make this video to let everybody know that um, I personally do not believe that an all meat diet is healthy. Um, and I do not believe that excessive amounts of saturated fat are beneficial. And I don't think that you should consume excessive amounts of saturated fat. I do think that a moderate intake of animal products or a moderate intake of saturated fat is beneficial if used to supplement a diet that's primarily fruits, vegetables, plant foods, and fish. I think that wild caught fish is extremely important for um, cardiovascular and neurological health and many other things. You can get the majority of your animal based nutrients from fish and an intake of fish along with an intake of whole plant foods uh, seems to be correlated with higher levels of health and lower risk of chronic disease and it's also associated with higher rates of longevity you can see this with okinawans you can see this uh, with japan you can see this with the mediterranean countries and also mechanistically however as far as carnivore diets are concerned listen if you have a large amount of food intolerances and allergy symptoms like i completely understand food allergies are very challenging to get over um, there are ways that you can develop a um, you can develop tolerance to these foods over time but it takes a lot of money and a lot of vigorous effort and trial and error it is a hard process however for the general population uh, eating an all meat diet no matter what the cause whether it's for uh, weight loss or anything of that matter especially if it's just for health reasons unless you have <laughs> an infinite number of food allergies and meat is the only thing that you can consume it's not a good idea to do this long term. It can be a great way to do an elimination diet, but only if your main goal is to identify food intolerances and slowly add back other foods over time. Um, it is true that there's people who are allergic to animal products, including meat uh, and also plants, but it seems like a lot more people are allergic to plants. However, um, I personally do not believe that a carnivore or an all meat diet is um, a great thing to do long term. However, um, if you do a carnivore diet, the best way to do it is to eat primarily organ meats. Uh, and you have to do a lot of research on toxicity and other things that are associated with eating too much liver, etc., etc. Anyway. Um, and, and yes, I, I pay attention to a lot of people in all different dietary paradigms. I watch videos of the carnivore uh, people and I watch videos of the vegan people and I watch people who do, you know, in between. Watch a lot of different videos, a lot of different information, read a lot of different books. Um, I don't believe that a carnivore diet is healthy or all meat diet is healthy. But I'll tell you what I do believe is healthy, okay, for the average population. I believe that most people will probably experience their best health and their best life on a Mediterranean style diet. Um, I believe eating fish every single day, as long as it's clean uh, on the lower end of the food chain, such as sardines, uh, salmon, etc., as long as it's wild, okay, as long as it's not from factory farms. I believe that this is the best source of animal protein that you can have and it's beneficial to the brain and the heart. And I can tell you a vegan diet, I personally am very confident that omega-3 deficiencies, EPA and DHA, okay, I believe that these are very common among vegans. I've seen the symptoms and also there is mechanistic data showing that um, most people cannot convert ALA to DHA and EPA at efficient rates. And then if you eat algae, um, I believe you're only getting DHA but not EPA, something of that nature. 
And so there's not really a reliable source of vegan uh, omega-3, DHA, and EPA. And converting flax or chia or whatever into EPA and DHA, it just doesn't really work as efficiently as it needs to. And there's many, many vegans out there who are having really bad neurological issues such as pain, some fibromyalgia, which is a symptom of gluten intolerance and other food and allergies. Um, but they show a lot of symptoms of omega-3 deficiency, okay? Unless, of course, you're suffering from B12 deficiency, but if you're supplementing, you should be fine. I personally do not believe that a vegan, that a 100% vegan diet is healthy, but I do believe that eating a primarily plant-based diet is very beneficial. I myself have various food intolerances, but I eat a lot of raw fruits and vegetables, and I consume jasmine rice uh, these days because I'm an athlete and I exercise very vigorously every single day all the time. So jasmine rice gives me a lot of starch for fuel and calories so I don't like look anorexic like Durian Rider, <laughs> even though he eats a lot of starch. Um, and I think animal products in moderation is fine, but by moderation, uh, what I mean is, you know, you can probably have one to three eggs, um, you know, a couple days a week. Uh, you know, don't go, uh, go easy on the butter, obviously. Uh, use butter mainly for cooking. Um, maybe a little bit in your coffee, but I think that's pushing it uh, for most people. Um, and uh, eat primarily fish. Uh, eat you know, lean chicken or eat chicken, eat fish, eat chicken, and just be mindful of your intake. You know, I don't think it's something that you should be extremely obsessive about, but uh, as long as you're sticking to whole foods and you're eating predominantly plant-based and your main animal source is fish, I think that you're doing excellent, okay? I think that that's uh, a great diet to partake in. And you can look at mechanistic studies, you can look at um, population studies and you can also look at people like Jack LaLanne okay Jack LaLanne is somebody who really opened my eyes to the to uh, the reality behind you know this animal food thing I think that he lived an amazing and long life uh, primarily because he basically ate a pescatarian diet um, but also because he exercised so vigorously even until his death uh, which he was 96 years old and he died of pneumonia only because he refused to get antibiotics uh, to treat it. Otherwise, he probably would still be living today. Um, so, and he used to eat egg whites instead of the whole egg, which to me, I would think would cause uh, issues in uh, bone formation and make you prone to injury and other things. But it's just interesting to see these things. So that's just a little update there. I just want to to get that across um, but I'm still doing a lot more research so bear with me as I come out with more um, information as I form my opinions based upon new data but I never really thought that it was going to be like healthy in the long term it's just that uh, you know carnivore diets they are a great option for people who suffer from life you know like devastating anxiety, devastating depression, devastating food allergies and food intolerances. If you can go on an all meat diet and then you know your symptoms are gone, um, that can be a great short term way of treating these things. But um, food intolerances and gut microbiome can be solved, they can be fixed. Um, so you don't really need to go on an extreme diet for a long time. You could just fix the problem, eat a balanced way, like the Mediterranean diet, and you'll experience health. Um, so thank you very much. Leave your comments down below, subscribe for more. I appreciate you guys, and don't be scared to, be, to do more research and go beyond your bias.